Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for another tournament video. This time we're kicking off round two for group D. And yes, this could be a this could be an interesting couple of matches because we will see Team Africa going up against DBW's original gangsters. No, no, wrong one. <laughs> sorry, I'm reading round two. Re reading round three, sorry. Right, anyway, we will see Team Africa. no. Okay, start again, start again. We will see Chomp Stan going up against Team Africa, then DBW's original gangsters going up against Nopi, and Darius going up against Toka Nightmare. Right, let's get on with the first match. Alrighty then, and in this first matchup, we have Chompstan against Team Africa, and at first for Chompstan, we have the Utoraptor. I feel like the sound's gonna start glitching more, because we've been recording things set quite a bit. Anyway, um, no, not much to say about this move. Say it's pretty much almost similar to mine for Mega Raptor, except for instead of Mayfly, this tornado pops. Anyway, as for Team Africa in the blue corner, we have an Aranosaurus, and well, honestly, I think Chompstan does have the advantage in this matchup because, well, the Utoraptor will have the advantage over this thing, but Chompstan's second dinosaur will have the advantage over Team Africa's two other dinosaurs, which are both wind dinosaurs. So I feel like Chompstan is definitely a favourite here, and I do expect him to win, but you never know. Well, if he's going to start like that, he's definitely going to win. <laughs> a strong start from the Utoraptor. Yeah. Look at that. No chance for Aranosaurus, is there? Although, saying that, it does get off a crit, so it will do some damage to Utoraptor. Utoraptor. But, yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote for a Ranosaurus and for Utoraptor making quick work of it. Anyway, up next for Team Africa, we have a Flovenator. The gorgeous African hunter. Um, well, that Hurricane Beat could do a lot of damage, as could this Sonic Blast. I mean, all of the Frovenator's power is in the crit. I never actually realised it until I did the actual moveset. <laughs> Whoops. Otherwise, I probably would have picked, like, Tornado... Maybe I should have gone with Tornado Pops, because I did use that in the game. Oh, well. Anyway, but you chomped down on top early on. No surprise. But the Afrovenator does get off a hit. And Team Africa are not that far behind. Oh, they're going to be further behind because the Utoraptor gets off another hit. Ooh, and a Cyclone as well. And um, no Dino Illusion has activated. No Dino Illusion yet, which is quite surprising. Ooh, ooh I think that's curtain for it. Utoraptor as the Afrovenator gets off that crit. But, up next for Chompstan, we have a Kakaradonosaurus. This beast could win it for Chompstan, as, as I said earlier, it will have the advantage over Team Africa's two remaining dinosaurs. Of course, to utilise that advantage, the Kakar needs to get hits. Yeah, forget to mention that, don't I? Ooh, you're throwing it again off a hurricane beat. This will deal a sizable amount of damage. Boosh! 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 Ah, kickies! And a tail But not that much. Ooh, that's a tie. And also another tie. The Afrovenator, wow, Team Africa is actually, actually, they're in the lead. And I think they're stretching that lead. Well, I did not foresee this. The Kakirodontosaurus is in quite a bit of pickle here. Oh, never mind, Afrovenator is dead. <laughs> How quickly a match can change. A fire cannon coming from Kakirodontosaurus, that's his first hit in this match. And it's going to be a killer hit. And light recovery as well, making us giving it a bit of help. 
Anyway, as for Team Africa's third dino, we have a Super Majungasaurus. Uh, wait the mode on four. Again, it will be at a disadvantage against the Kaka, but the Kaka is on low health, so I think Majungasaurus can finish it off. Which will leave both our competitors down to their final dynamics. Ooh, the Kaka getting off a hit. And the Volcano Burst as well, adding extra damage. Just once. Oh, yeah, I think I think this is Chomp Stan's win. Another hit coming from Kakaradonosaurus, and this is what I was talking about. Ooh, ooh, I think though the Kakaradonosaurus is finally defeated, and this Dromio Rush will make sure of it. And Chompstan is down to their final dino, that dino being the Triceratops. Not Super Triceratops, not Armored Triceratops, just a generic Stone Cold Triceratops. With the, the 2000 version, of course. And Counter Blitz could be key here for Chompstan if he does get hit. As Majungasaurus is on low health. Okay, two more hits. And he'll be awakened in time, but I don't think we're going to see it. Nope! Triceratops coming in, finishing off what Kakiradontosaurus started, and defeating the Majungasaurus. And that will be all she wrote for Team Africa, as Chompstan claims a win. Uh, might kick themselves a bit that it wasn't a bonus point win, but a win's a win, and it could take them... And it does take them one step closer to qualifying from the group stage. Um, yeah, no surprise really there. Chompstan did have quite the advantage over Team Africa, so a win that they probably needed. Anyway, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alright then, this matchup could be tough for DBW's original gangsters. Anyway, in the red corner for DBW, we have a T Rex. I think the T Rex might be earning his dough here, especially if he, keeps, if he gets off that crit as that crit will do a lot of damage to Nopi's dino. That dinosaur being... Tank! Well, we all saw how effective Tank was in the first matchup, almost getting a clean sweep over Team Africa, and we saw how resilient it was, despite being at a disadvantage against the Uranosaurus. And I was very impressed with Nopi in the first match. I'd probably say the most impressive combatant so far. Dare I say it. And I'd say the close I definitely see the closest competitor to a viable 3 0 win, so DBW's gonna have his work cut out here. But T Rex does have that big crit damage, so that could be key. But I think a tie will suit you more because tank because the T-Rex is taking more damage. And Tank does get off the first hit, and the defense boost does activate. A good start from Nopi. Oh, that's another tie. The tie is wearing down the T-Rex. And another tie. Ooh. Nope, we getting off another hit and another defense boost. Although the T-Rex is still standing. And I still feel a blazing spin would be enough to take out Tank. But a blazing spin is not what DBW is going to get off. And the T-Rex goes down. A convincing start from Nopi so far. But it's going to be tough for him to defeat this Lambiosaurus because it will have the advantage over Tank. And Lambiosaurus is what DBW's second dino is. And it does have a lot of power here. Lots of damage could be coming in from Lambiosaurus. But, as we, as we saw in the first match, this tank is very resilient. And can definitely tank a hit. Or two. Ooh, 
The Lambiosaurus doesn't mind ties as much as the T-Rex, so a tie will not be enough for Noki. I think this might be curtain for the second time. Oh, wow. But Nature's Blessing will get all that HP back, so DBW isn't far behind, but Tank is still alive. Ooh, a crit coming from Tank. Decent amount of damage dealt there, but wow, no defense boost. That's interesting. Oh, another hit coming from Tank. Wow, why isn't defense boost activated then? Oh, maybe Tank needs to get hit. I don't know. Or maybe it's maxed out. Well, it doesn't matter because Tank is cleaning house with this Lambiosaurus. And wow, look at that. The super resilient Tank is giving it to Lambiosaurus. And oh my god, he's killed it. I think Lambiosaurus is dead. Oh, no, no. <laughs> well, the type advantage definitely saved Lambiosaurus there from a fraction. Oh. <laughs> Well, relief for DBW there, as I genuinely thought Nopi was going to take yet another 2 0 lead. But Tank, despite putting up a really good fight, is going to go down. Anyway, up next for Nopi, we have the more attack minded Chomp. The Super Chomp, that is. Uh, awake, mode, awake mode on 3. Although it does have the light recovery to heal the heal edge and the atomic bomb and the counter blitz. This could be a tricky competitor for DBW to deal with, but he did get rid of that pesky tank. <laughs> Honestly, if I was to redo my team again, I feel like my first dino, I put in like a resilient dino. I put in like something that can tank a lot of hits. Like, like tank. Ooh, Lampiosaurus getting off a big foot assault. Could the match be about to turn? Whoa, lots of damage dealt the chop. Ooh. Ooh. Has DB... I think DBW might have just stolen this match's momentum from Nopi. And we might actually get to see Nopi's third dino. Ooh, nature's blessing coming in here. Giving DBW a leap the lead. Just when we thought Lambiosaurus was dead and buried, Comes out of nowhere with this, but Nopi does get that crucial pet, and next round will be awakening time for Chomp. A light recovery will help Nopi's cause there, so Nopi is still in the lead, but DBW is definitely struck back strong. Anyway, up next we have Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, not much to say here, has all secret moves, so. Could pack a punch, or it could not. Ding. But it is awakening time for Chomp next round, so Nopi will have to be killed. Oh, I am not yet, because it's a new match, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's a tie. That will suit Chomp more than the Pachycephalosaurus. That, however, will not, and the Pachycephalosaurus finishes off Chomp. And we actually get to see Nopi's third dinosaur. That dinosaur being the super resilient Isosaurus. Now this thing can definitely tank a hit. And with defense boost on top, with the super defense type, this thing will be tough to break down. And light recovery as well. And you've got Aqua Whip for a bit of oomph. But DBW have definitely come back strong. And it's only a matter of time before those secret moves of the Pachycephalo get activated. Ooh, but that's not good for DBW though. An Aqua Whip from the Isosaurus and Defense Boost will be coming after. And my voice is breaking. Oh my god, loads of damage! Well, Pachycephalosaurus can't afford to get hit like that again. Ooh, that's a tie. I think the secret moves are going to get triggered. Yes, they are. Oh, but the Pachycephalosaurus! I don't think he's going to get it, and I don't think he's going to survive this. Nope. That's curtain for DBW, and Nopi, yet again, winning a match.
an impressive style from Noki, and I think, I think he might, could he go all the way? We'll just have to see, won't we? Anyway, I'll update the table, and we'll move on to our next matchup, which will be the final one of this video. Um, this matchup could be crucial because Toka didn't win last time, and um, oh sorry, this isn't Toka, this is Darius, they both have the same dinosaur. Anyway, that dinosaur being the Lexosaurus, and wow, look at that crit, like Saltosaurus in that video. It's, this Lexosaurus' crit definitely packs a punch. And in the blue corner for Toka, we have another Lexosaurus. <laughs> The, the two Lexovasauruses in this tournament, and they have to be in the same group. But this one's a bit more defense-minded than attack. Anyway, as I was saying, this could be a crucial match for Toka, given how the previous two results went. Good chance for Toka here to close that gap on the top. And it's also a good chance for Darius as well. So a lot riding on this match. Ooh, the Lexovasaurus on the left gets the first hit. That's Darius's. I think it's crucial for Toka here to defeat this Lexovasaurus with their Lexovasaurus. As Toka's second dino is a lightning dinosaur, but it doesn't look like it's going that way so far. As Darius's Lexovasaurus gets off another hit and an attack boost to boot. Honestly, I, I should say something on Toka's first match. I felt like Toka was so unlucky with the RNG in the first matchup. And the, well, I didn't say RNG, with the, um, the technique moves not activating, like Heat Eruption, Plasma Anchor, Sand Trap. I felt Toka was very unlucky. But, as for Toka's second dino, we have a Super Use Centrosaurus. And, well, this thing is going to have the type disadvantage against that Lexovasaurus, which is not good for Toka. And I feel like Darius is in the lead and in control of this match. Toka needs to turn it round quick. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, my God. This, this might actually be a one-shot. Let's just stand in awe if this is a one-shot. Oh, my God. It killed him. It won it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Toka. Okay, so, sorry my voice went high there. Like, oh my god. Like, that is what Hydro Cutter can do on salt with Saltosaurus. Wow, I, I'm so sorry, Toka. Like, you, I, I feel so bad for you. Like, the first match, you didn't get Heat Eruption off. You didn't get Volcano Burst off. You didn't get Plasma Act off. You didn't get Sand Trap off. This match, you don't get any hits. You get one shot by Quake Saber. Like, I, I feel so sorry for you. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. This thing has a thousand technique. How is Heat Eruption not activated? Like, this is a joke. Well, I think I think we all know who's gonna win. Okay, so Toka gets the first hit of the their first hit of the match, and surprise, surprise, no flare sword and no volcano burst. Like, this is ridiculous. Like did Toka, like, smash a mirror or something? Because they're getting no fortunes whatsoever. Okay, but the Lexovasaurus is finally going down, so Toka is coming back. Oh, I should have mentioned that his third dino was Eocarcaria Omega Armor. And speaking of Omega Eocarcaria, it will have to type advantage over this thing, so don't count Toka out yet. <laughs> Like, honestly, so I'm so sorry. You, you don't get the heat eruption. You don't get the volcano bit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I'm not saying Toka should win this match 100%. You know, Darius has played well and got off that Quake Saber, which one shot the Eucentrosaurus. But Toka's not getting the rub of the green. But a hit from the Eocarcaria and a critical one could be just what Toka needs to turn this match around. No, no, no flare sword, no flare sword, no volcano burst, no heat eruption. Toka, you're just unlucky. But, what I will say, we get to see Omega armor, which is awesome. Oh, I need to get my rules out in case he gets ahead. 
Okay, hope we can resolve. Next round will be Tani. Okay, Io Kakiri's health is in the green, so that doesn't matter. And the opponent will be down to the last move. So next round will be a tie if Toka gets off the pit. Oh, which he isn't! The Strepta Spondylist striking back with a Dino Swim. Ooh, and a Cyclone as well, which will stop Toka dealing damage in a tie. Oh, it's a tie, I think. Oh my goodness. Look, look at this. It's one hit, and this guy gets off Cyclone. Like, how many hits has this Eokarkiria got? Like, seriously, game? Come on. Like, what a load of rubbish. <laughs> well, Darius deserved the bonus point win, but oh my god, Toka, you are so unlucky. Like, if Volcano Burst had resolved, if Flare Sword had activated, that you stripped the Spondylist would have died. I mean, you probably would have lost to the Amplosaurus anyway, but, you know, that's just the point. Like, because of how unlucky Toka has been so far in this tournament, Darius is going to get a, a winning, a bonus point win. Like, I don't want to sound biased, but, like, I, f I f just feel bad for Toka at this point. <laughs> like, you, you're just unlucky. Like, don't feel bad, dude. You, you, you've just been very unlucky with the um, moves not activating and such. And a lot of things have gone against you this tournament. But hopefully, your next match will go better for you. Right, we'll update the table and end the session. Well, well, well. Let's look at Group D. We have Nopi and Darius and up top. And then we have Chomp Stand on with six points in third. And then we have Team Africa, DBW, and somehow Toka in the bottom three. Well, no, sorry. Sorry, Toka. I'm putting you in fourth. You deserve to be in fourth because you've been so unlucky this tournament. You're going in fourth. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you haven't played each other yet. Well, not much to say here in Group D, but I think these three will be going through. And then I think it'll be between these three for fourth place. But like, honestly, like, Toka, I feel bad for you. Like, don't, don't say I have nothing against... I have nothing against Darius because... I mean, it happened to Toko in the first match where they just got completely unlucky. <laughs> With the uh, not heat erup no heat eruption, no vault burst, no, no sand trap, no nothing. Anyway, next matchups in round three, we'll see Team Africa going get up against DBW. Ooh, that could be a huge game. Chomp stand going up against Darius. And Nopi going up against Toka. So congratulations, Toka. You're probably going to lose again. Because nobody defeats Nopi. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll probably get one dislike from Toka, which I understand. But this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.